everybody, welcome to our first multiplication lesson. This is our do it session. So today we're going to be practicing solving lots of multiplication calculations. So you have a task sheet for today, which should look like that. And what I'm going to do is we're going to start working my way down the calculations, which start off quite simple and then get increasingly a little bit trickier. So the first one that I'm going to have a look at is this one at the top. So it says 2 mm. Can you remember what that symbol in the middle means? That's right, it means times or multiply or groups of or even lots of. So I have 2 times 5 2 multiplied by 5, 2 groups of 5, or 2 lots of 5. We can use all of that language. And I'm going to draw what's called an array to help me. Hopefully you'll remember how to do these. So, that's one group of 2. 2 groups of 2. 3 groups of 2. 4 groups of 2 and five groups of two. And I can count these one at a time, but I can see that they're arranged in two, so I'm going to count them in twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And the answer is ten. If I drew my array on its side like that, that's absolutely fine because it gives me the same answer. I've still got two, four, six, eight, ten. And actually it works with multiplication because multiplication is commutative and that means I can swap those numbers around and it doesn't make a difference to the answer. So two times five is the same as saying five times two. Right, let's rub that out and have a go at one of the other ones. Let's choose Three times two. Three times two equals. So remember to copy down the calculation first. Remember to have this on its side because otherwise it will look like an add sign. It's really important. And then I'm going to draw my array to help me. So one, two. That's one lot of three, but I haven't got one lot. I've got two lots of three. So there's another one. And because I can see that they're organized, in rows of two, I can count them like that. Two, four, six. And the answer is six. Did you get the same answer? All right, let's try another one. Let's go for um, five times five equals. So remember, first thing I have to do is I copy down my calculation and then I have one group of five, two groups of five, three groups of five, four groups of five, and five groups of five. I can count these one at a time, but as I know that they're arranged in groups of five, I can say five, 10, 15, 20, 25. The answer is 25. Right, they're quite straightforward. I'm going to look at one now that's a little bit trickier. And it's this one here. Let's try five times zero. Hmm, what do you think the answer could be to that? What do I need to draw? If I have five zero times, how many fives do I have? I have zero, so actually I don't need to draw an array because I wouldn't have anything to draw. So the answer, whenever you times a number by zero, the answer is always zero. Okay. Now, in a moment you're going to go away and you're going to work your way through these do it calculations, getting as far as you feel comfortable with. If you zoom through all of these at super fast speed, 
Then there is a challenge, our little meta down there, it's our brain making us think. There's a challenge at the bottom. And meta says, how else could we have solved these calculations? Learning your times table is a speedy way to solve calculations like these. Practice your two, five and 10 times tables. And if you think you already know those, then you could try learning your three times table. Right, now it's your turn to go and do some work. Good luck.